We were talking last night about Donald Trump, Alex Jones. Yeah. What are your opinions on uh, Alex Jones and then Donald Trump? Alex Jones, I think, is one of the greatest men on the planet. I really do 100% believe. agree. I, I think if, if you're going to judge a man by his passion and his patriotism, yep. then, then he's number one. Yeah. You, you, there's no one more passionate and patriotic than Alex Jones. Yeah. He loves America, yep. and he'll tell you that. Yeah. You know? and, and he is who he is, right? He is who he is. And some people say he's a bit crazy and he's a bit too far, but my view is this. It, the entire world needs balance. You need yin and yang. And if you look at how crazy the leftists have become, yeah. And how nuts they are. Yep. Maybe he's a tiny bit over the mark sometimes. You need some balance in the in the world because they, they've gone so far psycho land. So you see him as a good pushback against the far left, Absolutely. crazy socialist Absolutely. communist. Absolutely. We shit. need we need Alex Jones. Yeah. We didn't have him. Who would we even have yeah. besides Trump himself, who's genuinely conservative anymore? Yeah. We don't even have anyone who's genuinely conservative. And what's crazy is this: I don't even really consider myself too much of a conservative, mm. although I'm kind of I've ended up there. There's a whole bunch of issues that I don't care about. I, I don't care about global warming. Is it happening? Maybe. Don't give a shit. I don't. I don't I, oh, are, are you know? Some people really deny it. Some people really believe in it. Yeah. Don't give a fuck. The, I don't really care about abortion. If women want to do dumb shit with their bodies and then fuck their own lives up and kill their own kids, go do it. Then, like, I'm, I'm not going to be the guy forcing women to have kids. I don't care. But. All I really believe in is, is a strong immigration law and, and protecting your country and put your country first. Patriotism. And, and patriotism. And yeah. as soon as you're patriotic nowadays, you're instantly a yeah. far-right, alt-right Nazi. Yeah. Because you believe that your country shouldn't completely submit and throw its history and heritage Poland, away. of course, is amazing for that. This country, they love, they're so in love with their own country, it's amazing. Well, I'm, it's because like, they've been through heaven. shit. Yeah, they're a lot of shit. They've been through yeah. a lot of shit and they've yeah. been fucked up a lot of times by a lot of people and they yeah. finally got their such shit together. They're like, no, we're not losing, we're not losing this again. Yeah. And that's, and that's the thing, and we all know the old adage that uh, hard times create strong men, strong yeah. men create good times, da, da, da. we all know that, yeah. and it's, it's absolutely true. America's had it easy for a long time, yeah. and, and now everyone, most of the people in America literally just like America. They're yeah. sitting there saying, oh, this is not fair, they're not nice because I'm this, because I'm black, because I'm Muslim, because whatever, 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 this place ain't good, this place Victim is racist, Olympics this place, like this that. place, we'll, we'll yeah. fucking leave then. Yeah. And they don't understand that in Go many Canada. other Yeah, well it's they don't understand that in most other countries you can't do that. Yeah. You can't come to Poland, start walking around to everyone in Poland saying Poland's a show. Yeah. You can't do that. So they, the fact they even have the freedom to do that shows how great a country America is. Yeah. But there's some there's some huge experiment going on. I'm not gonna get too conspiracy theorist with it, but the entire Western world is they're on a path to just cuck everyone and divide everyone. Suicidal. Yeah, absolutely, because yeah. all they have to try and do is they just just divide and conquer. They just get everyone confused and upset with their own little tiny issue, their own imaginary racism, their own whatever. Yeah. So they can just control us all and keep us buying shit from Amazon.com. Yeah. It's just, just consumerism, it's Amazon globalism. Prime. That's yeah. all it is. Well, let's talk about Donald Trump. What's your opinion on him? I love Trump, man. He's, I mean, he's the best we could have ever hoped for. Yeah, fuck yeah. But what kind of worries me is, considering he's the best we could ever hope for, and there's still a whole bunch of stuff that hasn't got done, Yeah. doesn't that show how powerful the, the people behind all this shit are? Yeah. Do you know? Like, you've it's, got Trump who doesn't give a shit. It's a big fight we have ahead of us. You know? Yeah. And you've got yeah. the best soldier you could have as a president, and he's still struggling to get the wall built. He's still yeah. struggling. Still, still, people, conservatives are being censored on social media. We picked media. our top alpha. And we picked our top guy, and we're still, and we're still losing some, not losing, but we're still fighting hard on some of the important battles. Yeah. So, if the next guy isn't Trump level or better, and yeah. I can't even think of anyone yet, yeah. we're going to be, yeah. in, we're going to be, we're going to be in trouble. In my opinion, I think Trump's kind of setting, hopefully he clears the field. I think yeah. it's like a wrecking crew, like a wrecking ball. Yeah. So the guy's after him. I'm hoping for Rand Paul or someone like that. Yeah. And Rand Paul and these guys, they're learning from Trump. I think yeah. they're getting more savage, which is really good. That's, what, they, that's so. what we need to do. People need yeah. to finally get their shit together and yeah. just stand up and say, no, that's yeah. bullshit. Fake news. Da -da. You yeah. know, it's he's the yeah. first guy in a Go long time. Yeah. yeah. But this is what you need because yep. it really is crazy that any American thinks it's a bad idea to put America first. That shows how screwed they, oh, these yeah. people's minds are. Propaganda, man. It's brainwashing. It's, it's, it's crazy because. If, if Russia had the most powerful economy in the world, or China had the most powerful economy in the world, do you think they wouldn't put themselves first? Yeah. They would absolutely, it's like playing poker, when you play poker against a guy with a big stack and you've got the short stack and they put the pressure on you, they squeeze you. Mm -hmm. Wait till China rules the world. They're gonna put a squeeze on everyone. You think they're doing a nice trade deal with anybody? They're yeah. gonna put a squeeze on everyone. Yeah. And here we are as America being nice. Oh, well, this yeah. is a small country, so they'll communism, benefit more than Communism isn't very nice either. Yeah. Well, exactly. You know, they're totalitarian, and that's why they're going to win if, if we don't do something about it. So, yeah. I mean, this is this is all the political stuff, but yeah, yeah. you know, it's 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 great to have someone who's actually in the White House who actually gives a shit about America instead of giving yeah. a shit about everyone else. Yeah, first it's president crazy. in my lifetime that I'm proud of every single day. Yep. My whole life, I've never had a president like this. Yep. Yeah. So it's been uh, waking up in America now. It's like a whole new life, man. It's yeah. awesome. It's, he's doing a fantastic job. So yeah. I can't wait for. I'm, I'm going to make sure I'm in America on election night, 2020. Just to oh, see. Yeah. I'm going to be yeah, in New yeah. York. I live like a Hillary supporter on election night. It was awesome. <laughs>
It's fucking awful. I was like, oh, you only being grabbed by the pussy? Like, it was, it was, it was fucking dope. It was really savage. I do. I total, do. Quint, total accident. Like, it wasn't set up like this. I was like, oh, this is great. They all lined up Trump supporters. She was literally like in tears at one point when Trump won. It was, it was fucking it was bad, dude. I don't know if I should put this on camera. <laughs> Whatever.